Hello and welcome back to Hobby Crafts. It's been a while, hasn't it? I'm really sorry for being away for so long. So how about we sit down and draw a bit together and I'll catch you up. Life has been a bit hectic. Uh, long story short, I'm still building a new studio and pulling extra hours at work to afford it. Um, but here I am and I'm super excited to share some new, uh, well, new art with you. Uh, also, I apologize in advance for the camera quality as well for this video. Uh, I'm working on getting that fixed soon too. So I've been really inspired by Inktober this year. For those of you who don't know, Inktober is a month long art challenge where you create one ink drawing a day based on a series of prompts. And they got released early this year, so I figured I'd jump on it. Um, Inktober is a fantastic way to improve your skills and stay motivated. Uh, I've tried to participate in the past, but to be honest, I gave up pretty quickly. It's not called a challenge for no reason, so... But this time, I feel ready to take it on and stay committed. It helps also that I'm cheating a little bit and starting way early just to make sure it's perfect. Or at least reasonably perfect. And maybe making a video a day each day for Octo Inktober uh, will help me stay on track. So here we are, day one. The first prompt for Inktober this year was Backpack, and it immediately made me think of Gravity Falls. If you're a fan of the show, you'll know that Mabel and Dipper are always up on some adventure. Since most of the prompts are travel and outdoor themed, Gravity Falls was the first show that made me consider touching grass, so it came to mind immediately. I love cryptid spooky stories and silly weird cartoons so that's my reason and how I interpreted the prompt. I decided to start with some studies on how Alex Hirsch, uh, the original creator of Gravity Falls, drew his characters. Um, Alex has a very unique style and I wanted to give it a try. I'm still trying to find my own art style and I've heard from many other YouTubers and artists that practicing uh, via replica, not tracing per se, but by trying to mimic an art style you appreciate, uh, it can help inspire, or not inspire, but help you find what you like, what you don't like, and kind of start weighing it down from there. So that's what we're doing. Uh, I spent some time to analyze his line work and the way he captures the expressions and overall vibe and energy of the characters. Um, after that was done and I drew to what I felt was a comfortable love le le what a comfortable le le oh my god. Once that was done and I've drawn until I was at a comfortable level, I went ahead and did the same thing with some basic backpacks just so I can understand how a backpack is supposed to sit or at least get the the idea of how a backpack could sit in a, a cartoony simple style and still communicate that it's a backpack. Now I may not use ink for the entire piece but I did incorporate some highlighter markers to add a bit of flair. So that still counts, right? I think it's important to make the challenge your own and have fun with it. I thought of a small comic scene with Dipper packing his backpack for an adventure and maybe telling Mabel earlier to get ready and to quote unquote only bring her essentials. And of course, Mabel being silly little Mabel, puts Waddles in a baby harness. Waddles is her little piggy. Um, and when she comes out, she tells Dipper, you know, that she's ready to go. I thought this idea was really cute in my head. And 
I'll take any excuse to <laughs> drop pink and pigs, so yeah. I will be posting my finished piece on Instagram with the tag Inktober, and I'm really hoping to get featured. It would mean the world to me to have my work recognized in the Inktober community. I understand if it doesn't happen, of course, considering the limited actual ink used. Um, but if any of you guys see me on there, please let me know. I'd love to know if anyone else sees my art. And with that said, thank you so much for watching. I'll be back tomorrow with another piece. And I really appreciate you all waiting up for me. I hope to make you proud moving forward with more hopefully stable regular updates and posts. But, you know, as always, I hope you have a beautiful, creative day. TTFN.